Welcome to the Basic Civil Engineering Lecture Series by Roy M. Thomas. Intelligent Building and Green Building In this topic, we will discuss basic concepts of intelligent buildings and green buildings. In the modern world, the most emergent thoughts are about intelligent and green things. With the advent of artificial intelligence, smart programs are integrated to control of all most of appliances, vehicles, machineries, other utilities. Automation is the key to artificial intelligence. Companies like Rockwell have automated vehicle production to deliver customers specific end products, logistically sourcing parts and delivering finished product to a predetermined program. Though much has been discussed and practiced in the field of indigenous building systems, a comprehensive definition of an indigenous building is yet to be established. However, experts in this domain tried it. Various definitions for the indigenous buildings are there. One of such definitions goes like this. An indigenous building is one that integrates various systems to effectively manage resources in a coordinated mode so as to maximize equipment performance, savings and flexibility and minimize investment and operating costs. Another definition, an indigenous building is one in which the building fabrics, sprays, service and information systems can respond in an efficient manner to the initial and changing demands of the world. The occupier and be in harmony with environment. Indigenous building combines innovations, technology with the skillful management to maximize returns on investments. An indigenous building system concept concerns that the true cost of the building is not its cost of construction, it must include the operating and uh, maintenance cost over its uh, full lifespan. Cost reduction can be achieved by optimizing energy used through automated control, communication, and management systems. In a new indigenous building installation, these are the features expected: high-speed fiber optic communication network, run for data, video, building administrative system, flexible HVAC, that means uh, heat ventilation and condition system lighting fire air alarm and other building supporting systems dedicated circuit power distribution network with ups standby power generation the individual building model structure has been broadly subdivided into seven systems like heating ventilating and air conditioning system electrical power distribution system communication system lighting system Vertical Transport System, Security System, Life Safety System. The first one, Heat Ventilating and Air Conditioning System. In Indian Building System, the HVAC system must be selected in such a way that it satisfies ventilation standards and occupant comfort control while optimizing flexibility, energy efficiency, maintenance costs. And owning and operating cost analysis coupled to an energy simulation of each viable option is mandatory to determine the optimal HVAC solution. Second one, electric power distribution system. The power distribution system deals with major electrical components and electric energy monitoring. Major elements under monitoring and control include the emergency power generator, uninterrupted power supply, that is UPS, the emergency lighting system, individual tenant power metering units, and other major electrical loads. Then the third one, that is communication system. In the individual building, integrated communications is possible. The system that may communicate include uh, uh, traditional land-based uh, clients and servers, telephones and telephone switches, video conference devices and the full range of uh, devices for HVAC, security, lighting and file alarm. 
in the present scenario of COVID, this is a very important system. The next one is uh, a lighting system. The extent of lighting control distribution, the use of motion detectors or infrared sensors and the use of lighting level sensors in premier area to allow use of natural lighting whenever possible must be incorporated. This lighting control should be extended to each room or workstation in order to take full advantages of energy saving associated to non-occupancy mode or the limited localized occupancy activations during extended hours for the HVAC and lighting systems. And the fifth one is the vertical transport system. This system interacts with other systems such as the light safety or the security system to define the number of elevator required, the mode of operation accessible and accessible floor levels. To minimize energy consumption, the number of activated elevators may also be reduced on the basis of time of their schedules, week or weekend days and statutory holidays. And the sixth one is security system. Security system may include simple systems like uh, automatic access monitoring, CAD access control, guard tour monitoring or motion detectors. More elaborate security systems involves intensive uh, human intervention from guard stations and closed circuit TV and recording should be uh, source from specified security system manufacturers and the last one is the life safety system this system deals with the fire alarms the emergency lighting and smoke evacuation system interfacing of life safety system with other system is very important to eliminate nuisance alarms or to start the smoke evacuation system interfacing may also allow temporary transfer of spare emergency power not required at the time to other known critical areas until such time as it is required so that's all about the concept of intelligent building now we move to the concept of green building right from the prehistoric man who constructed the huts for the first time to the great builder of the modern world has exploited nature and its resources and destroyed the natural habits of other animals and birds. Now tremendous damages have been inflicted on our planet by the construction of various types of buildings using sand and water from rivers, stones from mountains, cement manufactured from the ingredients that from land also carbon emission from buildings and due to manufacture of construction materials warm up the air in space this global warming leads to changes in climate changes in rainfall pattern rising sea level ozone depletion etc etc on realizing the environmental responsibility many efforts were put forth and one such initiative is the concept of green building. Green buildings have a new approach to save water, energy, material resources in the construction and maintenance of the buildings and can reduce or eliminate adverse impact of building on the environment and occupants. Green buildings are eco-friendly structures. This helps the earth and people to retain nature to maximum extent the possible uh, three ways with reference to the location of the building. They are retain the extent environment at the location of the building which include land, water, energy, improve internal environment for the inhabitants which include light and air, preserve the environment at places far away from the building. Uh, that is achieved by uh, utilizing the locally available material rather than getting the materials from far away places. So like that we can reduce the carbon footprint. So whenever we think about 
a new project. We have to concentrate on construction, design, and material selection. During construction, reduce the amount of waste generated at the construction site itself. Design building design details will help to reduce construction materials and energy water requirements when completed. Then, when you think about the material selection, careful selection of construction materials will be less of an environment impact. Construction waste accounts for 10 to as much as 30 percent of the municipal uh, waste. So try to reduce, reuse and recycle. So this can be achieved by building design based on standard size of materials and going for high quality material to reduce the rejections. As far as possible, recycle the materials including scraps. Instead of going for constructing new material, new building, renovate the existing building. To design the building so that it requires less energy or water and is healthier for inhabitants when it is completed and in use. This can be achieved by air deck for efficient and healthy airflow, proper insulation, windows designed for maximum daylight. So that is why it is uh, suggested to provide the windows in the north south direction to get the maximum daylight then by solar control solar cells and location that is also important that is why in olden days people used to say as per Tachi Shastra provide the kitchen in the north east direction to get the maximum daylight Use materials that have low environmental cost and do not contribute to indoor air pollution. Materials which could be recycled and reclined, doors and windows, floor coverings, using reflective uh, roofing materials and go for energy efficient appliances. Nowadays, the different star rated appliances are available. So try to go for such appliances. So this is the conceptual drawing of a green building. So here you can see the rooftop is planted with small trees. Then here the outer wall insulation is provided to reduce the heat. Then nearby one tree is planted that will restrict the direct entry of the sunlight. So here lighting is provided using natural light. Here motion sensor detectors are incorporated for lighting. And here rainwater storage is there. The water falls on the rooftop. It is collected and utilized in the same building. Studies show that 93% of consumers worry about their homes in no metal purpose. However, only 80% are willing to pay more to reduce the impact. Actually, the initial cost of the game building may be high and consumers are concerned that they would be sacrificing the comfort. Green building constructor should be conformed to the prescribed standard. There should be a continuous evaluation or continuous assessment and monitoring from the planning up to the completion of construction for declaring a building as a green building. For this, lead green building rating system is allowed. In this system, points are awarded for adapting green concept in various categories and the buildings are certified green at levels such as silver, gold, platinum based on the total number of points they are getting lead rating. The authorized agency 
to do the lead writing in the India is IGBC, Indian Green Building Council. Luckily, in Kochi University, we have a very active IGBC student chapter. So this is the categorizes for rating the lead points. If you are using sustainable site, 13 points are awarded. If uh, rainwater harvesting system or uh, is water efficiency is there, uh, six points are awarded like that. Points are awarded for different categories. And here you see, if you employ a lead designer as consultant, one point is awarded and total point is 69 and certification for grid buildings are done based on these points like this if the points achieved is 26 to 32 it is lead certified building if it is 33 to 38 silver level 39 to 51 gold level and 52 and more platinum level so these are some examples of green building in india silver level lnt chennai world bank chennai gold level grand force pump chennai nucleus Marcochi, platinum level cotherage hyderabad itc Urgon, wipro technologies Burger. advantages or benefits of green building there is saving of energy up to 30 percentage and water saving up to 50 percentage and very good uh, enhanced air quality and excellent daylighting health and well-being of equipment conservation of resources now many are thinking about green building and we can hope in future almost all people will think about green building so hope for a green future so these are some buildings in Ernakulam nucleus small that is a green building this is a residence of a well-known personality from malayalam film industry so this is a platinum rated residence so this is another view of that building so here you can see glass is provided to get the maximum daylight and nearby so many plants are provided it belongs to the actor come director mr srinivasan thank you